This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Friday, the 23rd of August. I'm Michael Graff. The good news here is that temperatures are headed down, humidity levels coming up, and widely scattered showers and thunderstorms will be possible over at least a portion of the state today. Will we see anything here in the valley? That's always the big question. A drying trend by the end of the weekend and into the first half of next week, but indications of a more significant push of moisture late next week. I know you'll believe it when you see it, right? All right, let's get out there and take a look at the almanac from yesterday. 110 degrees, the high in the valley, and that's the 27th time this summer that we've hit 110 plus. If you're wondering, the record for the most 110 degree days here in Phoenix in a summer is 33. That occurred back in 2011. The morning low is 85 and outside right now here at 525 a.m. Partly cloudy skies. We sit at 88 degrees at Sky Harbor, but it's going to feel different out there this morning. Pretty muggy out. Look at that dew point at 66. Relative humidity, 49 percent. The winds are light and the barometer is rising. Temperatures around the area right now, 78, the current cool spot. That's up there on Thompson Peak, but most of us are in the 80s to near 90. The upper air look this morning, we had an easterly wave moving across northern Mexico yesterday. That triggered an MCS, a mesoscale convective system across much of Sonora and eastern Arizona. Some of those storms got kind of close to the valley. Some heavy rain out there. We had over 70,000 lightning flashes last night, so that's pretty impressive. And we're just left with the low-level moisture, the humidity, the soup as that uh, system dies off. The watch warning map is pretty quiet, although we do have a couple of flash flood warnings over parts of eastern Oklahoma. Flash flood watches there as well and extending into northwest Arkansas. Fire danger concerns out here in the west as we remain very dry. The convective outlook for today, a slight risk of severe storms, parts of the North Carolina and Virginia coast, as well as the eastern Rockies and the western plains. Marginal risks surround those areas. And the precipitation outlook valid through next Friday morning from the WPC. Rain amounts here in Metro Phoenix, a few hundredths of an inch, maybe. Uh, heavier totals in excess of an inch, maybe even approaching an inch and a half for extreme southern Arizona. The southeastern portion of our state sh should see some more action today. And we'll detail that along with everything else going on. What's up with this monsoon as we get out to the models and have a look. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, the 06Z run, valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. This is the upper look at about 18,000 feet. Troughing north of the state, the winds aloft are more out of the west, but down at the surface, kind of a southerly flow. And humidity levels are up, partly cloudy skies this morning, mostly sunny this afternoon. Widely scattered showers and thunderstorms over eastern Arizona today once again. But uh, I think the majority of the day for us here in the valley stays dry. High temperatures 101 to 104. Tonight, widely scattered showers and storms continue. One of those could try to get into the valley. The chance of rain technically isn't zero, but I've kept it out of the forecast. We'll just kind of have a, a warm and muggy night with lows mainly in the 80s. And then tomorrow, partly cloudy. Highs upper 90s to about 102. This should be the coolest day of the forecast period. And again, moisture levels, at least humidity levels, will remain up, but only isolated showers and storms over southeast Arizona. On Sunday, the air mass really starts to stabilize quite a bit. High pressure will, will build in overhead, subsident air, sinking air. The mid-levels of the atmosphere are pretty warm with 500 millibar temperatures around minus 3 or minus 4 Celsius. All of that boils down to just not having a favorable environment for thunderstorms to develop. So, Sunday is dry. High temperatures, again, uh, somewhere between about 100 and 104. Monday will warm it up a couple of degrees with mostly sunny skies. Tuesday, high temperatures get back to around 107 to 111, and we continue with that on Wednesday, mostly sunny skies. But again, moisture starts to intrude into eastern Arizona, where widely scattered showers and thunderstorms will return. Looks like Wednesday stays dry here in Phoenix, but by Thursday, more moisture is shown to spread westward across the state. Scattered showers and thunderstorms over the high country. Some of those will try to get into the deserts, and as a result, I decided to put a slight chance of showers and storms back into our forecast. Yes, this is pretty early in the process, and this monsoon has been very dry so far, so it's really hard to latch on to these uh, solutions of robust moisture coming in. But for now, just a small chance of showers and storms getting back in here, and high temperatures would be headed way down again. All right, let's go out to a week from today. This is Friday the 30th. Looks more promising with high pressure in a favorable position to advect some good monsoonal moisture in here. Scattered afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms would be on the table. Some of those making their way into the deserts as well. Temperatures would be somewhere between about 100 and 105 every day. So around our seasonal averages. Then going out 10 days, this is the end of the forecast period. Sunday, the 1st of September. This is the start of meteorological fall. 
And yet another trough is shown here across the Pacific Northwest that would gradually turn our flow aloft back out of the Southwest. But before drying us out, we may see some shortwave energy come in off the Pacific and interact with our deep monsoon moisture that's in place. So we could get kind of a transitional event of uh, more widespread showers and thunderstorms. That remains to be seen. That's 10 days out, but just something that's on the table right now. All right, let's check out the quantitative precipitation forecast, the QPF. How much rain are we going to get according to the European Ensemble? And yeah, the next 10 days look kind of dry. But as we head into September, the model spread increases quite a bit. Many of the members showing a lot more precipitation in here. Uh, this is also shown off the GFS Ensemble. So more active weather could be headed in here at the end of the month and heading into uh, the Labor Day weekend and beyond that right now is just a model trend. It's not an official forecast, but it is something worth watching. Temperatures off the GFS ensemble through the period. Highs will be a little bit lower this weekend, maybe even a couple of degrees below average. And then we warm it up next week with drier air for a while. Then the moisture comes back and temperatures should once again trend down. The good news is maybe after next uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, that could be our last 110 degree day of the summer. Although a little too early to say that for sure just yet. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here on Monday morning. And if you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. Your comments, questions, and suggestions are always encouraged as well. Be safe out there. Have yourselves a great Friday and a wonderful weekend.